Good morning. Today we're going to compare with more, most, less, and least. So we have these sentences here. The National Weather Service provides accurate information than the local TV weather stations. And our second lovely sentence here, the National Weather Service provides the accuratest information. So what are you noticing about those? We added the ER and the EST like we've been learning, but something's wrong, huh? You're right, accurate. <clears throat> How many syllables do you hear in that? ac -cu -rit. Yeah, there's three. Most of the um, words we worked with yesterday were one syllable. A couple of them might have been two, but mostly they are one. So what happens when we have a word with more syllables? We're going to either use more for two or more, <coughs> or most for three or more syllables. So for two, we'll use more. For more than two or three or more, we'll use most. The same way we'll use less for two or more, for two, excuse me. And then two or more or three, we'll use least. So what would you we use um, instead of accurate? The National Weather Service provides information than the local TV station. So we're comparing the weather service and local. So that's two, right? So we would use more accurate. And then here, the National Weather Service provides accuratest, I have to think how to say that, information. <clears throat> it's three or more. It's more than anybody else. So we would say most accurate for that one. Um, actually, that is our lesson for today. We'll do this one tomorrow. So basically, look at page 241 now. You'll see up above all the directions we just went through with adjectives and adverbs with more, most, less, least. So let's do number one together for guided practice. And we can refer up above if you have any questions. The biting winds during the storm were harmfulest or most harmful? Well, harmful has two syllables, so let's go with either um, more, most, less, least. What should we use? Yeah, most harmful would be the one we underlined. What about number two? Frostbite is less common, least common in Georgia than in Minnesota. Well, it's only comparing two things, Georgia and Minnesota, so we'd say less. So less common is the one we should underline. What about number three? The blizzard of 1866 was one of the, would we say toughest or most tough storms ever? Well, tough just has one syllable, so we're going back to adding either ER and EST, and if it's um, ever, one of the ones ever, we'd use toughest. Number four, we're gonna write the correct form. We're gonna fill in the blank, and the hint is they have beautiful in parentheses below. The first snowfall was blank, beautiful, is the word we're gonna use, then the last. So it's beautiful, more than a syllable or two, so you can either decide, is it gonna be more beautiful or less beautiful? And that's up to you to decide which one you want to add. Both of those work. Number five is the last one. January is the blank month in Jackson, Wyoming, and we need to use snowy. Snowy is a simple word, just like easy and early and lazy, remember those? Yeah, where we change the Y to I-E-S-T. We change the Y to <clears throat> Y to I and then add that. And it's the January is the snowiest month because it's compared to all of the months. So we'd use snowiest. So your job is to do page 79 today, comparing um, the extra practice worksheet of it. You'll see that for numbers one through eight in the first part, you'll underline it like we did just did. In the second part, you're going to give the hint underneath or at the end of the sentence what one word you're going to use, and then you can decide what um, what you decide as far as more, most, least, less, less, least, which one's going to work that way. And um, there are, no, there is just one that will use either the um, change 
the Y to I and add E-R-E-S-T, but the rest of them will be the ones that we learned today. So have fun and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.